Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I've teamed up with the Yaz Girl and they sent me this beautiful, beautiful curly bob wig. And you guys already know Yaz Girl is available on Amazon. So this is one that you can find really quickly and easy. I have a direct link in the description box. You can click on it and you can really hit like buy now and you'll have it in a few short days. This one is simple and easy. It fits 100% glueless. No work or minimal work needed. You guys know I've been on this diffuser kick. So you're going to see me use my handy tandy diffuser these will be coming back in stock on my channel or on my website pretty soon this is the web this is the blow dryer you've been seeing me use for the last few years and i'm using it now with the um diffuser attachment super cute right it also comes with like the concentrated nozzle and also the comb attachment as well but without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial okay ladies jumping right into it this is the box as well as the packaging and this is the wig straight out of the box i'll show you the goodies inside in just a moment but this here is the star of the show We're working with a 10 inch kinky curly c-shape hd lace wig the curls on this one are absolutely gorgeous and it's set as a side part here and i'm going to also show you guys a little bit of the inside construction of the cap you can see my natural braids flourishing a little bit they trying to poke out a little bit you can see the c-shaped parting in there as well it also includes an adjustable elastic band which helps to keep your wig a little bit more secure so i went ahead and secured the wig by adjusting the straps in the back as tight as they can go put my natural braids into a little bit of a bun and then i'm going to go ahead and add an hd wig cap on top pull it back so that it's not showing and i'm going to also tint the wig cap so that it blends in the parting now here i have pretty much set it for like a center part but you can see i actually added um, a lot of product to it so that it can peep through even at a side part now let's go ahead and put the wig on we put the adjustable elastic band on first and then we go ahead and slide that wig in the back as well as the front and this is what she looks like on i'm just playing with it and just trying it on for size trying to see you know does it have a little bit of movement should i shift the wig how does it fit and how do i like it i absolutely love the c-shaped parting i think it's perfect because sometimes the parting is too up like far up and like too close to the center this one has a nice deep side part and i really really like how they set it off the bat here's a look at that lace as i mentioned this is hd lace and it's absolutely gorgeous the wig itself fits glueless so we are going to be rocking it glueless today but i am going to go ahead and add a little baby hair i feel like sometimes when you just throw on a wig and go and you don't bond it down it can give a little bit of a like stock wig beauty supply store wig so i did want to add a little bit of something to customize it so i separated the baby hair and i did thin it out just a little bit and you guys can see how gorgeous the hairline is um you definitely want to show that off especially because it is hd you know give it a little shine this one can be found on amazon i'll have it linked in the description box for your information you can definitely get this one on prime and i know your card is already entered you already have an amazon prime account so you can definitely purchase this one literally in literally five seconds or less if you already are familiar with amazon here i am i'm gonna do a wig like trick that a lot of people use with like synthetic and affordable lace wigs i'm gonna show you that you can also use with your nice wigs as well and it's pretty much like the mousse method where if you're not going to be bonding the wig down and you don't want to use anything that's going to make the wig like sticky or tacky you can use mousse and it will like melt the wig down like absolutely beautiful when you pair it with a wig band. I'm also going to be going ahead and forming my baby hair which is also going to set under the wig band as well. Here I am just dabbing off any excess product because you don't want it to be too wet if you can help it. And I'm just going to go ahead and add my my wig belt as i mentioned and then i'm going to go ahead and dry it on a cool setting now as i mentioned this one is a very quick and easy install so you definitely don't have to blow dry it. you're going to allow, allow it to air dry but because the installation process of this wig is going to be so simple and quick i went ahead and blow dried it on my own I also blow dry the rest of the hair because sometimes it helps to like fluff the hair up and you can really see how nice the curl pattern is on it also, while it sets, I'm just going to go ahead and stamp out that parting a little bit more. Typically, I go in with a wax stick and I go in with the hot comb. Here, I went in with a holding spray just for a little bit of a switch up. 
but I did pair it with that hot comb and I used the back of the hot comb because I didn't really want to take away the wave or the curl pattern. Um, I just really wanted to step out the parting a little bit more and it'll look good once you go ahead and style the curls. Now I'm going to go ahead and take off that milk button. You guys can see the hairline looks like it's like melted or bonded down and it's still 100% glueless. Now I'm going to go ahead and tint that HD lace. I want to make sure that it blends as best it can with me. So I did add a foundation uh, powder or this is actually a foundation cream and this one is from Ruby Kisses um, to that C curved parting. And then I'm going to add the complimentary foundation powder to the hairline. Now I love, love, love this combination on most of my wigs and this wig definitely was no exception. It just helps everything to melt and bloom with my complexion and everything just looks really good. Now I'm going to go in with the Design Essential Mousse. This has been my go-to as of late and it definitely helps the curls to pop. When you apply this with no cream product or no water, it definitely will give your hair really good definition, really good shine, can cancel out any frizz, but it also will give it a little bit of a hold. So if you don't want the crunch, you can add a cream underneath or you can add it with water and it definitely will soften it up. I personally like the crunch because it helps my curls to last for a few days and I'm just using my fingers and my hands to work it in all the way around but you guys already know I'm going to use that dimming brush to really go in and define those curls. I love the length on this one. I believe this one is 10 inches in length and it has like that perfect like kind of sort of kisses my shoulders but not too much and I am 534 reference here I am with that dimmer brush that I speak of and for me this is a step I love with curly and wavy wigs because it helps to like clump the curls together and it gives such a natural super super defined curl pattern where it kind of helps the curls to kind of like go a little bit more uniform and tame so that like while they set it just gives literally the most flawless finish now we're going to go in with the final step, which has been like my favorite step lately, which is to diffuse. I have went years on this channel with all types of curly and wavy patterns, different lengths. And one thing I've never done on this channel is to diffuse. I had a diffuser all this time. I actually have two. And I've just never done it on this channel. So I did take my time and diffuse all the way around. And you guys can see the volume it gives. It definitely will help to shrink the curls. So if you don't want them to be shrunken, you can kind of like blow dry while holding the curls out. But I didn't mind that it kind of helped the curls to really, really, really go in and get dry. I love this step and I love how well um, the hair itself took the diffuser because it didn't become frizzy or anything like that. And now that it's pretty much dry, you can go ahead and just like go around because you kind of want to make sure that center is dry as well as well as the top. And I think it came out absolutely beautiful. It's super flawless and it's super melted. This definitely is a high quality wig. Okay, the bugs. I don't want to bore you guys. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. This is the final look. Now this one is 100% glueless. Now what is out for me is walking out of the house with wet curly or textured hair i have discovered the world of diffusing and i feel like i've been like cheated gypped why y'all didn't tell me that diffusing was such a game changer now, in my mind i'm like okay i'll go ahead and style it i'll go ahead and add my products i'll use a dimming brush to like clump my curls if that's the look i'm going for and then the elements will dry it naturally but diffusing it gives such a nice good it dries the hair, but it also gives it like a little bit more height and body, if you will. And it gives exactly what I'm going for in my head. Diffusing the hair just makes such, such a huge difference. Now, as I mentioned, this one is on Amazon Prime. It's available on Amazon. You can get it in a few short days. And you already know you got your card already entered into your Amazon account. So you just go ahead and click the link in the description box. Add to cart, buy now, good to go. This one is from Yas Girl, and of course, they did go ahead and make the packaging very beautiful. They include this gorgeous dust bag, which complements the packaging and the logo really, really well. I love a good royal, like, yellow gold moment. There was, not like, a beautiful ribbon wrapped around the box, so I do still have that. Um, they also have some wig caps inside the package, and then this reusable zip pouch, which I always show you guys. It's holographic, and it does... Um, 
and it does have some whoop, this is the reusable pouch it's holographic and it does have some goodies inside again when you get stuff that's reusable hold on to it you'll never know what you need it for but it's always a great idea to keep it inside mine i got this nice little piece of elastic you can sew into your wig or you can use it to like lay down your edges i got these cute little purple clips a melt belt and it does say uh the yes girl with the cheetah print which is kind of like a really good combo and then here i have a baby hair brush and it does have that rat tail the rat tail is key when you really want to get a really precision like parting so this is really nice and then last but not least i love when they give me these these are the um clips now that i have some that um i have i think two sets that they've given me and i keep those in my travel um makeup kit for my makeup bag but now i have two more so i'm super excited because they're cheetah print which if you know me what's my favorite color cheetah print leopard print any kind of zebra print 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 is my favorite color so now that i have the ones for my travel kit and they gave me two more these i can keep here with my beauty stuff and so so if you're interested in this one of course i have it linked in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and you know kicking it with your girl if you survived this long in the video and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches